Hey all, welcome back to module three, uh, call flow components and basics. Let's go ahead and get started. So agenda, what is a call flow? Uh, call flow components, common call flow components, and then connecting components. So like, I, like the first one was, what is a call flow? It's a structured visual representation of a sequence of events and actions that occur within a telephony or contact center system when handling incoming or outcoming calls outgoing calls, excuse me. Call flows do play a critical role in the contact center as they determine how calls are handled, processed, and routed to ensure efficient operations and high quality customer experiences. So essentially, um, back in the old days, they routed a call, it essentially, they had a number and it went to a phone and whoever answered, answered. Fast forward several years, now we have something that can determine how to route it, where we're routing it, how long we wanna keep them in the system, Maybe they have self-help. So all of this is part of the Genesis Cloud uh, architect experience as well as the call flow center experience. So the call flow components, they are pre-built elements used in Genesis Cloud Architect to create call flows. You'll see the screenshot along the right-hand side. This is kind of a further uh, drill down of what these are. You'll see it in the last module we went through this, but this actually shows exactly what the toolboxes look, looks like as the different audio call flow bot, the common module, all the way down from, to menu, task, and transfer. So in those uh, drop down arrows, there's even more components that you can select from. And you, by connecting those together in a desired sequence, you know, if, whether it's loops to menus to tasks to transfer to, you know, a, a user or queue or, or group. Um, you design it how your organization needs uh, and their specific needs. So common call flow components. Uh, here's a few of them here, play audio, menu, a queue transfer, transfer to user, transfer to number and disconnect. So in this screenshot, you'll see here along the left-hand side, you'll see that there's menus easily. You know, I have a main menu here. I have an after hours menu. These are what we are gonna be creating in, in further hands-on exercises. You're gonna have, I think three or four hands-on exercises just in this module alone. Um, here's the play audio. It's, it's an easy click or drag that you can see there's that toolbox that you can click and drag things over to. So you'll see the different ways you can do things. So you can transfer to the ACD, which is a queue and to support. So it's a group of people that might be in that queue to, to answer that call. You can disconnect a call. You can transfer to an external number. Um, you can also transfer to a user. You can also obviously play audio and transfer however you want. So just the different um, eat the different ways you can route things. Obviously, this is dependent on a schedule. So I'm, you know, if it's closed, I'm transferring it to an external number, which maybe you have an external support team that that takes care of things that uh, that's like a third party vendor or something. Uh, if it's a holiday, maybe you're going to transfer to support because they have a 24 seven during that holiday and then emergency, you have nothing. So you're never going to put it into emergency status. Uh, it will just disconnect. Um, so there's many options that you can do. Uh, to kind of route things different ways. Those are just some of the common ones. So connecting those components, pretty easy. We've we've talked about that. You can click and drag a component to where you want it to. Uh, if you've dropped it in the wrong space, you can then click and drag it, you know, to the correct space. You can also uh, right click on the on one of the arrowheads and uh, select which one you went from there. Uh, identifying the output. So each component has one or more outputs represented by small circles on the right side of the component. These outputs correspond to different outcomes or paths the call flow can take from this component. So that is just really saying uh, like play audio. There is an output that's needed. You need to have the output of either text to speech or you need to have the output of, of, of a prompt that you've already uploaded into Genesis Cloud. Transferring to a number, the output is what is the number that's needed. Um, you know, same thing with transferring to a queue. You need to you need to name what queue that is. Uh, click and drag. That's uh, I know we're going to talk about that a lot, but it's that's it's a really easy way to take the components from one place and drag them to the next. Um, that's going to be you know throughout littered throughout this course. Uh, connect to the next opponent. So that's an easy way to do it. Uh, the arrows are already there for you as you are as you start adding components. More arrows will be dropped down. There may be like a dotted box um, that will then pop up below one of those. Uh, you can click and drag those how you need. So configuring the connection properties. Uh, now it does say if applicable. So that is if you need to do that. So like for example, play audio, you're going to be doing the output of the play audio, whatever, you know, whether it's text, speech or prompt. That in that case, there's not going to have any connection properties to it. Uh, there may be some other things that do have connection properties. As we work through the, the properties panel of our hands-on exercises, you'll see uh, hands-on examples of that. You repeat the process. So you'll continue repeating those processes until uh, until you're complete with your call flow. So connecting components. 
So proper component connections are crucial for creating effective call flow logic within the Genesis Cloud Architect. So those dependence or those connections between components determine the sequence of actions and decisions that the system takes as processes as it processes incoming calls. And so the example here that we have is uh, really just a, a simple transfer to voicemail, greeting prompt. You can see what we're doing here for uh, the line off to the left. If you can kind of see that come down, go over to the greeting prompt, you will see that this is most likely a schedule group. So during open, it's going to it's going to bypass everything else. It's going to go down into the greeting prompt. You can see I have variables set for the greeting prompt, and this is something we will go through uh, and set as we get into later modules. But the transfer to voicemail component, excellent reason there. If it's closed or holiday, maybe we're going to transfer to queue to the support queue, but we really want to just transfer them to the support queue's voicemail. That voicemail then gets back into queue, and then the next person that gets on queue, I will get that voicemail. So, so tips for designing call flows: keep them simple. Um, that's the one of the most important things. Keep them simple. Keep them easy to follow. Um, keep in, keep them um, pretty pretty tight too. So create uh, create uh, reusable uh, reusable tasks, reusable menus, more reusable tasks, just to keep that separated. Um, if you you know if you're coming in, you want to play a, a greeting prompt, you want to do a data action, then you transfer into a reusable prompt to, to check a schedule. That way, you're able to keep those separate and able to work on those individually. Uh, use meaningful names for components and call flows. Well, I know we went through that I think in the last module, but this is also very important. Um, just keep it uh, you know keep it to what your business standards are. I always I always name my components something different outside of the, the normal realm so I can look at it without having to drill down to each component to check it. And then just make sure you test those call flows thoroughly before deploying. In conclusion, so understanding call flow components and their functions is essential for creating efficient, effective call flows in a contact center environment. Familiar, familiarize yourself with the wide range of components. So there's a lot of components in there. You've seen just some of the screenshot on the right that we had. Uh, there's a lot there. Um, click and drag them all in there if you want. That's it's fine to do that, and then you can kind of go and click click on each component, see what the properties panel pops up with, get an understanding, get familiar with how that works. Um, we will drill into this in more in later modules, but this is the time to really learn uh, or get familiar with the initial step. And then obviously we do have probably three or four um, hands-on modules or hands-on exercises in this module. Uh, go ahead and get started on those. There's also that Q and A that's at the end. Uh, and then look forward to seeing you guys in module four.